Okay. I'm Allie. I'm Alexis. And this is the Student, Student Voice, Voice Podcast. Podcast. There we go. You got it. You got it, Warrior. Okay. So All right. the joke What's the topic of the day. Today? Oh, the topic of the day? Okay. Yeah. So we are talking about what are some things you can do over the summer to help with social distancing, but still being able to see your friends and still enjoy your summer for the most part. So, like, how everyone thought summer 2020 was going to be, except with six feet distance between you and your friends. Exactly. <laughs> All right. I got the thought of the day. The thought of the day for May 13th, 2020, is the way I see it, if you want the rainbow, you've got to put up with the rain. Quoted by unknown, but still quoted. So. Okay, the joke of the day is, what do you call a man with a shovel? What? A dog. Ha! Ha, so funny. The random okay. fact of the day, the odds of an, of the odds that an average golfer will make a hole in one, a hole in, a, in one during a game are one in 12,000. Wow. And then the journal entry idea, something to think about. If you opened a store, what would you sell? I'd sell, I'd sell, I sell furniture. Furniture is fun to sell, like interior design. Yes. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet movie theater. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to start us off with our topic today? Uh, yeah. Okay. So, um, Allie, what were you planning on doing this summer? I was actually planning. So my neighborhood pool is getting like renovated. So it's getting like this huge renovation and I was going to have like a huge like pool party and I was invite all my friends over and stuff. And cause, um, since we just moved in, I haven't really had any friends over because of quarantine. So, um, I was going to plan on having like a big party and then like going to holiday world with my other two friends. And then for my birthday, which is in the summer, which I don't know if it's going to happen. Because of quarantine. But Alexis, yeah. what were you yeah. gonna do this summer? <laughs> um, well, yeah, go to the pool, which was supposed to be opening up in about a week. I don't know if it still is or not. I think it's Memorial and Day then, weekend. Yeah. And then if we were gonna go to Florida, I don't know if that's Ooh. still happening as soon as it was gonna happen. Um I don't know. Stuff like that. My birthday is I'm going to first day of school, so that's exciting, I guess. August 6th? No, August 13th. It's unless it's starting earlier this year. No, school started August 7th this this school year. I thought it started on August 13th. No. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. We have to look into it. All right. Anyway. I have to so, think of another question. <laughs> I have to think of another question. Allie, what are you going to do over the summer now? Because you can't do the stuff you wanted to do before. Okay, so basically what I've been doing in quarantine is sleeping and eating and then going back to sleep. But no, in all, in all honesty, it's like really pretty outside today. So I might take my dog on a walk. And like I was going to plan on taking him on a walk anyway. But that might be like my plan for like the summer. Like just hanging out with family instead of friends because I've because of the Mother Day Mother's Day brunch my family decided that we should all get together and my family is like a really big family like when you see each other you just have to hug each other so for Mother's Day we brought we each brought like two cans of Lysol and we sprayed each other down and then we like hung yeah. out for like seven hours after not seeing each other for three months yeah nice it was fun how are you still keeping up your social life with like friends or other well, people outside your family? I talk to my mom a lot. She's on the phone a lot. I talk to Oreo a lot, but he can't talk back. <laughs> and so um, my neighbors, I have a seven year old neighbor and a 16 year old neighbor. And my 16 year old neighbor doesn't talk to me because he doesn't acknowledge my presence, which is okay. But my seven year old neighbor, we let her come and we let her draw on our side, on our, um, what's it called? 
driveway because she'll draw on her driveway and she'll fill it up and then we let her and her mom come draw on all all of our streets driveways so she can get some chalk time in and so and then at night i will facetime my friends and we'll we'll like you guys know what airtime is it's like a place where you can watch netflix and facetime at the same time so that's what we do What have you been doing to stay in within social distancing rules, but keep a social life during quarantine? Um, well, I've been texting people, and then me and my friends will do movie nights where y'all FaceTime and watch the same movie. Yeah. Um, this weekend, I think we're all going to meet up at a park, and I'll bring, like, board games and snacks and stuff and hang out while still social distancing. So that's smart. That's fun. Yeah. I went on a nature walk yesterday with my cousins. There are four boys. So we went to Cool Creek. And so their names are Caleb, which is the oldest. Luke is the second oldest. Max is the third oldest. And Porter is the youngest. And Caleb had a football and he threw it at a tree and then it hit the lake. So then Luke jumped into the lake or the creek to go and get it. And then Max got stung by a, a bee and Porter tried to catch a fish. Sounds like fun. <laughs> and then my other cousin, Kaya, came, and we were, like, 15 minutes into our walk, and all you hear is Kaya, way! She's, like, sprinting towards us. <laughs> it was so cute. Yeah, it was nice to have, like, an hour without any electronics and in the middle of my e-learning so I can get some time outside. Yeah. So, since we're going to high school next year, what are you most excited for when high school starts back up? I don't know if I'm excited to go to high school. I'm honestly pretty <laughs> scared. But um, I don't know what to expect. I've never been to high school before. Yeah. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find all my classes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to class on time. I don't know if I'm going to get tracked by a bunch of seniors. Um. I don't know if I'm going to, I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah. But the things I'm looking excited for in high school is like, of course, seeing my old friends that I haven't seen all year. They were all quarantined. <laughs> and then all summer, of yeah. course, because then we have the two month period with no school. And then mm-hmm. uh, I'd be excited to make new friends. Yeah, I mean, I'm taking PE and health over the summer, so I technically don't ever stop doing e-learning. Well, so do I, but it doesn't, when I signed up, it gave me a date. That was like July 28th through June 8th or something. It's not that long. Really? Yeah, let me check my calendar. Or, yeah, it's something, it's something June 8th to July something. Oh, okay. It, it was I weird. It was a lot longer. A lot longer. Yeah, mine's from June eighth to July nineteenth, which is the equivalent of two and a half months, or one and a half month, or like two and a half months. Okay. That make sense. But yeah, that's one of the awesome things that I'm excited to look forward to in high school is that I don't have to do gym or do swim or anything. Um. Nice. What are you most looking forward to in high school? Um, well, like you said, I'm a little nervous for it, but I don't think as much I get that nervous. Yeah, as you are. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm really scared about the size of the school. Yeah, that's it's what freaks me out. Overwhelming. Yeah. Um, well, and it's mostly I, it's mostly one level, but when we went in there for the high school orientation, they're adding stairs and then upstairs and everything. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm excited about track season starting back because I didn't get to do track this year because of the coronavirus. So that'll be fun. Right. And then, I mean, yeah. What other sporting events for you got canceled because of the coronavirus? Um, just track, because volleyball doesn't start until, like, the beginning of the school year, so. Yeah, my soccer season 
was actually supposed to start that the day that is start after the day that we got sent home for the quarantine. So my soccer season got canceled and I was pretty mad about it. Like I'm pretty mad about it because I had already bought the cleats, the shin guards, the ball, the soccer, the extra soccer stuff because I'd given it all away when I had my really bad concussion two years ago and I didn't think that I would play soccer again, but then I missed it. So it was like, I got to get everything again. Yeah. That's what sucks about it. It's like, especially if you have a sport with equipment. Yeah. What do you most miss about, like, what do you wish you could do right now? See my friends. It's like, because some of my friends, I don't, like my school friends, I don't have, like, their number. Or if I do, they don't answer me. Yeah. Because, like, they don't like to FaceTime or whatever. So, it's like, I'll probably be like pretty excited when I see them in person in four months or something. I don't know if it's me, but last summer went by pretty fast. Yeah, I think it did too. But I had a really wise, good. But... So, like, school year wise, if you had to rate your school year on a scale from one to ten, like socially, how was it? Probably about nine and a half. Same. Like, Eighth grade has its up and downs, but overall, like, like my teachers and my friends made my school year, my eighth grade school year, easy to remember. Yeah. I feel bad for the seniors, the class of 2020. I mean, they did get to graduate, but they didn't ever get a graduation. Yeah, they didn't get to cap and gown it. Some people didn't get to prom. Yeah. They said they some people some like statistics say that the coronavirus is supposed to come back in the winter. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. I don't know if I can do any more e-learning. So I'm so happy that it's like ending, but at the same time, I don't want to end school. Yeah. Well, this is a pretty good discussion today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was a good discussion. We talked about a lot. Yep. Well, so. I think it about wraps it up. I'm Alexis. I'm Allie. And this was the Student Voice, Voice Podcast. Podcast. Good enough. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Ciao.